Today, we are going to the farmer's market. His brother's car didn't start, and we're trying to push the car up the driveway. I just feel so exhausted. I'm going to my first toilet floor therapy appointment. I want to organize my freezer. I am going to bake cosmic brownies. It's so good. Short little update about pelvic floor therapy. PMI. Why am I sharing this? I don't know. Hello and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi, my name is Kenna. Subscribe. I would love to have you here. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes I get nervous to vlog and other times I, I don't. <sighs> today, you know the drill. I'm just vlogging a couple days in my life with gastroparesis and today we are going to the farmer's market. Oh, someone's breaking in. <laughs> Okay, anyways, we're gonna eat breakfast first and then we're gonna go. See you later. Okay, we're on our way to the farmer's market now after having a mishap. <laughs> um, his brother's car didn't start and it was like blocking our car. Yeah. So we just had to push it out of the driveway and then back it back in the driveway, like by pushing it. We had a good Samaritan. Yes, thank <laughs> we goodness. Stuck. Because he was trying to steer because I can't back into something. He was trying to steer and then me and him, so a girl, a girl with a feeding tube and someone that's Pretty scrawny. <laughs> and we're trying to push the like the, a car up the driveway, and then some guy saw us struggling and got out of his car and helped Ooh, us. So, shout out! Yay! But so, next door neighbors were just watching us in the car. Yeah. Why no one? Why didn't you help? We got stuck. <laughs> Whatever. Yeah. So um, now there's two broke down cars in our driveway because <laughs> yeah. mine doesn't work. I yeah. yeah, it still doesn't work. So. <laughs> Old trusty, good old Honda, Honda Civic. Civic. Honda Civic. Good old Honda. So we'll ha that's a that's a problem for a later date. We're gonna go to the farmer's market. <laughs> okay, see you later. Okay, what well, sound like forever, but we finally made it. So let's go let's go get some produce. And just walk around and admire the beauty of the farmer's market. We made it! It's actually kinda cold here today. It's chilly. <gasps> Look at all the time. so rough it's four o'clock now i just got home maybe a little less than an hour ago and then i just ate some food i didn't eat anything today i mean obviously i'm eating my formula technically but i didn't eat anything by mouth today so i really just wanted to try try to eat at least like two things by mouth per day just to hopefully keep my stomach working um so i just ate something and then now i'm laying down and i'm trying to figure out a way to show this side of how i'm feeling too without like complaining because i don't want to just come on here to complain but whenever i do something especially like 
go out of the house i am so exhausted when i come home like it is a whole different type of exhaustion i guess like i mean for you that are watching and that do have like an illness you totally understand what i mean but if for some reason you're watching and you don't have a chronic illness i actually like asked this question on tiktok my tiktok a little bit ago saying if you have an illness how would you describe your fatigue because i never know how to describe it and i'll read some response some people say it's like it feels like you're walking through a swimming pool walking through molasses or that you're in quicksand or covered in cement you're like your body is filled with sand that's essentially what it feels like i just feel so exhausted and i don't have any like mental energy either where the most i can do when like this is just simply watch something on netflix because I don't have the mental energy to like read I don't have the mental energy to like do any tasks like even moving my arms sometimes to like scroll or like even type I I can't do it because I'm so exhausted I think my SD card is almost filled oh no oh no this isn't good okay clearly this week I need to go through my SD card but I deleted a couple videos so I should be fine oh my god no I don't remember what I was talking about but anyways the most I can do when I feel like this is just lay here and watch Netflix like I can't really do much else and the reason I haven't been filming it is one because I don't want to complain and two when I feel like this I literally the last thing I want to do is is vlog it not necessarily the last thing I want to do is vlog it but like I don't have the energy to like talk to a camera lift up the camera i'm just that wiped out so that's why i haven't been showing it and i feel like even right now i'm talking with a lot of energy but i feel like it just i'm the type of person that will not compensate but my body if i have to do something my body will literally force itself to do it but as soon as i don't need to do that anything anymore my body will just crash so like i'm talking right now to the camera and explaining this and my body's able to do that but as soon as i turn off the camera i'm gonna be out for those two reasons i haven't been vlogging this side but i just want to show that this is still my reality every single day where yes i'm starting to get energy and i'm so thankful for that but i i'm not even close to reaching that caliper that i'm supposed to be at that normal people are supposed to be at for energy wise and it's so frustrating that i just can't i can only do like one big activity a day or like a couple small activities a day and then be completely wiped out the rest of the day and the next day like i don't even recover the next day like the next day i just need the whole day to lay in bed and barely do anything so like that's still like a frustrating thing for me and I'm trying to learn to be more patient with myself but I'm like hey come on like I've been on nutrition for five weeks now why am I still this exhausted yeah I don't know I just wanted to share that too because I in the in the past couple of videos I haven't been sharing that and it's not that I was like trying to hide it but it's just that I never got necessarily the opportunity to because I was so scared about complaining and then also because I was so tired that I didn't even pick up the camera so yeah this is essentially me just saying that I struggle with fatigue still a lot and I want to show that to you and like be transparent about like what it's like with this illness so yeah so i'm just gonna sit here and rest my boyfriend and his brother went out to lunch and then they're gonna go shopping at aldi yeah so i'm just gonna chill here and rest okay see ya good morning it's sunday yesterday i pretty much just laid in bed i was so tired and my body was like so heavy and my muscles were so weak so i just laid in bed and today i'm gonna rest too because i'm still really tired so far all i've done this morning was i edited a tiktok that i want to post i started doing laundry and i took pictures for a thumbnail that i need to make for this week's video oh of course i made a to-do list so right now i'm just gonna work on editing that thumbnail now and then later today we're gonna go to kohl's to return one of my bed wedges stop at walmart pick up a prescription and i think watch harry potter so that's pretty much all i have on my to-do list today and which is so nice i need to rest i'm so tired still but we got another little busy week up ahead busy for me but we got this so let's get editing let me let me show you what i want to make this week look how good those look I'm so excited. I kind of bake something like once a week and I don't know. I just love it It's very calming very nice and that is something that I want to try making it looks so delicious Some other things on the agenda this week that are so exciting is I'm going to my first pelvic floor therapy appointment And then I'm going to another new chiropractor that I was recommended to by a functional medicine doctor So those are some exciting things that will hopefully get me to feel better because <laughs> I'm ready for that for some soup. The soup is so good. I love these kind of soups. There's butternut squash, tomato soup, and I know there was one in the past that was like spinach and kale like this, and it was so good, but I haven't seen it. Very delicious.
I finished another thumbnail! Yay! It's so cute! I didn't finish editing that video yet, but I did the thumbnail, so yay! I'm actually getting some stuff accomplished today, which I didn't think I would, so it's a good day. Good morning! It's Monday, and I don't remember what I last vlogged, but yesterday some like family stuff came up, so we didn't do what we were planning on doing, but that's okay because we have this week to do it. And this morning, it's about 11, and this morning, I swear, this is how all of my weeks start. I made three, no, four medical calls. I am so done. Oh my goodness. It's like the same stuff too. I had to keep calling every week because it just never gets resolved, but I think I'm getting closer. I think. And now I need to go to, I feel like this is just my life on repeat because I have to go to Walmart to pick up a prescription and then I have to go to Target. I know I go to Target too much, but I want to organize my freezer. It's so messy because I have so many different types of frozen fruit because of my mostly liquid diet. So it's kind of just so messy and disorganized. So I just need to get something to organize all the fruit. That's what I'm going to go do. Um, I'm trying to get all of the stuff where to be out and about and active done today because tomorrow I have my first pelvic floor therapy appointment and I know that I'm going to be exhausted. Not necessarily like exhausted after that because I, I don't know how intense it is. Probably not that intense, but anytime I go out of the house, especially when I have to drive far, be somewhere for an hour and then drive all the way back, like that just drains me. So I know I'm going to want to relax all, after all that so i'm trying to get done all the stuff that i need to do out of the house today so that's going shopping and let's go <laughs> oh but yesterday i did finish editing a bonus video for this week so that's exciting it's an outfits idea video and it was so fun to film by the time you're seeing this obviously it's gonna be up on my channel so if you haven't watched that yet go watch that it was it was a lot of fun and i wasn't expecting to finish editing it tomorrow but i got a random burst of energy to edit it and do a voiceover so i did and it's uploaded now and scheduled for wednesday okay first stop walmart let's go i'm already really tired i mean i woke up tired so i don't know let's let's go let's get this let's get this done One more done. I had to get my boyfriend <laughs> some more dino nuggies. <laughs> you know what? I can't blame him because when I used to eat meat shaped chicken nuggets, always tasted better than the normal chicken nuggets. Like, where's the lie in that? Okay, let's drive to Target. Store number two, Target. Let's try not to get too much extra and make it pretty quick. I have the dino nuggies in the car, so I can't be too long. I promise I'll be with soon as I find a way up Cause you're your father than a kiss on the phone There's things about you I'll never know I hope that one day we'll be in love Back from Target now, I did get a couple extra things, but it's fine. So first I got containers. So I got two of each kind, but I'm only gonna start by washing one of them, like one of each kind, cause I don't know what sizes I exactly need. So these ones, these ones, and these big ones. And then I got hand sanitizer, which I did need. I'm gonna put this on my bed cart so I don't have to keep going back and forth to the sink. This shirt was on clearance. Like I said, I need a little bit more long sleeves. And then this shirt was on clearance too. Got that, yay. I like gray apparently, but I'm gonna wash these and then I have to email a couple things to deal with the medical stuff. And then I am going to get organizing. So I looked at the paperwork, uh, freaked out cause I don't know how to do it. And I'm gonna have to call someone for help. Uh, so I'm gonna do that later. I'm just gonna organize right now. So let me show you what we're working with. Oh, my lips are so chopped. Okay, freezers like this, I don't like freezers like this. I feel like it's hard for it to be organized, but top shelf, this is my side, that's my boyfriend's side. So all that, oh, and then all this. So first thing I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna take everything out of this side first. And there was some leakage of something, so I need to clean that up. Okay, this is all that I'm working with, and I clean the inside now, so I'm just gonna start putting these in containers. You really make me wanna fly Cross my heart and hope to die Lonely, you're the reason why I can feel those butterflies When I go to sleep at night 
Okay, this is everything now. It looks so much more uniform and I'm just gonna start putting this in the freezer. I finished the freezer now. It doesn't look the best, but the type of freezer that I have, I feel like it's not the most, I don't know. I, these freezers that are at the bottom like this, I feel like they aren't the correct shape or like the correct shape to maximize the storage. I don't know, but I'll show you anyways. It's better than before. So on top here, we have some frozen fruit, my rice soup and ice cream. And then on top this side, this is all my boyfriend's like meat and fish. Oh, on here, more frozen fruit, my vegan chicken nuggets more soup and then over here is just vegetables and some chicken nuggets for my boyfriend and some garlic so it looks a lot better and I actually didn't end up using all of them there's two sets of containers that I can return because I don't think I'm gonna use them and as you can see there's none of them can fit in there so I'm just gonna return them so I'm gonna eat lunch now and I'm gonna just make myself a smoothie and of course as I was trying to thaw out something so this is vegetable broth that I had initially put in a glass jar in the fridge and then I like went somewhere for a while and my boyfriend put the glass jar with that in the freezer to freeze it obviously to save the broth but he didn't think to transfer it into a different container for putting it in the freezer so the glass jar obviously because when things freeze they expand and then the glass jar like cracked and leaked so that has just been sitting in the cracked glass jar in the freezer so I took it out to thaw and as I was trying to like take out like the shards of glass I know it sounds dangerous I was being careful but I still managed to cut my finger I think pretty bad but we have I put pressure on it for like two minutes and this is like wrapped super tight to um stop the bleeding but <laughs> we're fine I feel like this is the third time in my vlog so far that I've severely cut my finger first time remember when I uh chipped off my knuckle in one of my thrift flips second time I cut my finger on a pill cutter at work and now we have shard of glass. Yay me. A chocolate peanut butter smoothie with whipped cream on top. So delicious. I love it. Good morning. It's Tuesday, which means today is my first day of pelvic floor therapy. And I have it at 2, but I think I'm going to leave at 12.50 because I have to go fill up gas first. And it's like 30 minutes away. And they want you arriving early. And I've never been to the building, so... We all know that I had to leave excessively early, but it's about 9.30 right now. Got my coffee and I am going to bake some cosmic brownies. I'm so excited. I've been wanting to bake these for so long. And right now I finally have the energy and I know after my appointment today, I'll be tired. So we're gonna bake. Of course, gotta light the candle first. Finally know the reason why, yeah I'm never really satisfied, yeah Waking up a paradise, yeah Without you by my side Imagine I walk through your doorway Imagine skipping all the foreplay Imagine all the stars in one place Cause you, you really make me wanna fight Cross my heart and hope to die so I knew I wanted to make a TikTok of me making the brownies, but it was too advanced for me to try to film on my phone and my camera at the same time, especially the way I was filming on my phone. So I didn't end up really filming on my camera. So I guess if you want to see like the process of me making the brownies, go to my TikTok. I'll put the username right here. But right now they're in the freezer. Why did I just do that? Right now they're in the freezer and the top layer just has to harden. And then once they're hard and then they're ready to go and i'm so excited so i'll show you what they look like when they're done but i have like 30 minutes until i have no 40 minutes until i have to go to my appointment and I'm so nervous <laughs> Oh yeah, so I'm just gonna chill a little bit and then I'll show you the brownies before I go and then I have to leave And then when I get back, I'm gonna definitely rest because the way I filmed the TikTok took way longer than I thought But it's okay because I had fun. So see you later. Here's what they look like. Oh my goodness. They look so delicious I am going to cut these up and try them. I can't get over it. It looks so good. You're so crooked Oh my goodness. Oh my God. So good Would definitely recommend so delicious all right, bye friends. I'm gonna leave. I'm so scared. Why am I scared? I don't even know what to expect, but not gonna bring my camera, but I'll let you know if anything interesting happens. Okay, bye. bye. I made it here. I have my appointment in 20 minutes, but I'm gonna go in now because I need to go to the bathroom. 
I am so tired. I am so excited to go home and lay down and do nothing for the rest of the day. Why do I feel like exhausted enough for it to be the end of the week already? And it's only Tuesday. What is this madness? Will this fatigue ever end? I don't know. Okay, I have to go to the bathroom. Bye. <laughs> oh, can't forget this. Let's go. Also, I have formula on my pants because while I was baking, it leaked. But it's okay. Life's messy. <laughs> okay, bye. Lonely, you're the reason why I can feel those butterflies when I go to sleep at night. drive home now and probably go eat some soup but i'll talk to you about the appointment later because i want the audio quality to be better okay bye oh guess what i look like hot mess it's six o'clock and i ate some soup oh my god i don't know if i can look at myself like this a little bit better <laughs> i'll just give a short little update about health floor therapy so today was mostly just like an evaluation not any therapy and yeah i just got asked a bunch of different questions just to see like what my needs are and everything and then i got <laughs> i got a pelvic exam <laughs> and oh i guess first what she did was she gave me like a little abdominal massage and as she was massaging like my abdomen i guess your stomach is supposed to like make crazy noises and she's like she's going at it for like five minutes and then it's like uh yeah your stomach isn't like growling or there's no bowel sounds <laughs> so there's definitely some issues there and i'm like yeah but now three hours later my intestines literally will not stop making noise so that is good that's amazing that that little abdominal massage is getting things moving so obviously we're gonna work on that <laughs> okay this is tmi am i why am i sharing this i don't know but i'm gonna share it i'm gonna be open and honest as honest as i'm comfortable with because it's part of your body and it's important that you take care of every aspect of your body so you can have holistic health everything down there <laughs> is really tight and contracted i don't know like my muscles won't relax and it's pretty painful and she just basically says that my muscles are hyper contracted and and essentially when my muscles try to relax, they don't relax fully. It just becomes slightly less contracted, which is causing like pain and also like issues with even more so with constipation because my stomach won't or my muscles won't relax to let things be, you know? So that's what we're gonna work on. We're gonna work on motility and we're gonna work on muscle relaxation down there. So we're hoping down there becomes better. <laughs> All of down there becomes better and more relaxed and not as painful and contracted. So yay, I'm really excited about this little journey i'm trying to be more like comfortable with stuff down there <laughs> it's kind of very nerve-wracking at first because you know it's very personal but it's natural and it's going to improve your quality of life if you try it out so yeah i don't even know what i'm saying but i'm excited and my therapist is so nice and she does a very good job at making you feel comfortable and it not being awkward at all so yay okay just gonna chill here may or may not vlog anymore but we'll see asana <gasps> We got some vegan mac and cheese going and look at that crispy tofu. Oh my gosh. Mm. Yummy. And then I cut up some veggies. What he's gonna toss in there. Yummy. And there it is. The final product looks delicious. It's almost 10.30. It's almost 10.30, but I'm gonna end the vlog here because I feel like I did a lot of it. I'm trying to end the vlog. Me. What? Me. <laughs> I feel like... So happy ending. What? I feel like I did a lot over the past four days. This looks scandalous. I promise I'm wearing shorts. I feel like I did a lot over the past four days. So I'm gonna end the vlog here. And look at my to-do list. See, this was my to-do list for the week. And everything that's highlighted in pink, I did already. And it's only Tuesday. So I only have four things left to do this week, but one of them's editing the vlog, which will take a while. But that means I get to rest, which I need to do, because I, I do this every time, where I like do everything in three days, and then I'm so exhausted. <laughs> so I have to do nothing the rest of the week. But I hope to make more Tubi pads this week, because I haven't made some in a while. But thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video.
and I hope to see you in my next one. Bye!